Welcome to day two of Los Angeles. We have a special guest that happens to be in the area who's going to co-host with me today. And also, real quick, who do you think the guests are today? We have a huge guest today. I'm pumped. I'm excited. This is my first guest I don't personally know. So it's going to really test me as a podcast host. But my friend's here, and he's going to jump on the podcast with me. Britt's here. Chase is here. Okay, we went to the wrong airport, but it's close. So we're going to pick up a hitchhiker, and we're getting to the studio because we got 50 minutes before our guest arrives. Hey, you need a ride, bud? Need a ride, you need a ride, bud? Holy Toledo, yeah. I've been walking for hours. I'm just happy to be here. I'm excited. Dude. Thanks for the opportunity to be here and to do this with you guys. Let's go. You didn't scrub that I like scrubbed. I told you to. I literally scrubbed. Guys, I'm trying. <laughs> I just got really nervous out of nowhere. I shouldn't be nervous, um, but it's almost go time. We're like minutes away from shooting today's podcast. First podcast of the day. We're doing two today. Hopefully. Actually, the second guest has not responded to my text, so uh -oh. we'll find out. <laughs> so it's a funny story. Nervous. You're nervous. It's a funny story. Are you nervous? No. I'm not nervous at all, ever. I'm Same. excited. <laughs> So Cletus just flew to Los Angeles to yeah. be here because we're talking about this guest for probably six months. It was like this thing. Do you want to come? Do you want to come? And now it finally happened and he made it happen. He's here. He's going to be hanging with us. It's going to be fun. Dude. It's going to be crazy. He's probably the second person I look up to in life besides my dad. I mean, like my main icon growing up. So it's pretty crazy. And I've kind of modeled a lot of my business after what he's done. Freedom Factory, you know? <laughs> even did two Fs. You're so original. <laughs> the fact that we just get to talk to him, I don't even know what I'm asking, but. We're gonna just go like this. Yeah, <laughs> tell us stuff. <laughs> tell us something cool. It's crazy he touched on multiple generations too. Yeah, was... he's like king entrepreneur. Yeah, I mean, the way he runs businesses, everything, it's so interesting. So today we get to find out the spiel. Yeah, I'm gonna offer him a job too. <laughs> nice. What do you think your starting salary will be? <clears throat> A few hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, a few hundred bucks a week. I think that's good for him, right? I think that's probably really it's good. fair. Yeah, very fair. Our guest didn't show up, guys. Didn't show up, so uh, this is our <laughs> fault. We just go find a random guy off the road. Take a seat. Fill the spot. Yeah. What's up, man? How are you, Rob? Hello. Roman. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks this is my wife, Brittany. Hi. Hello, Nice Brittany. to meet you. <clears throat> How are you? Great Good, how are you? you? Welcome to the Roman Atwood Podcast. We've got, man, let me start this out again. One more time. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my beautiful wife, Brittany Atwood. We've got Cletus McFarland sitting in today. And we've got, I'm just going to say it. The legend. We're all super fans, man. Mm. We're kind of freaking out <laughs> right now. It's a big now. day for us. We've got yeah. Rob Deerdeck in the house on the cast today. Thank you. Yeah, very humbling. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for your you time. Guys. Cletus. <laughs> really appreciate you. I appreciate you. Brittany, thank you for being here. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more. All right, man. God bless. Right, sweet. Thank you, bro. That was amazing. How's my makeup? So tall, bro. Here, you make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just wrapped with Rob, and then this came, shipped in from Bunker Branding. This is something that was kind of a joke, but became reality really fast. All of my years of doing merch. I never seen this many requests for a t-shirt. Go ahead and open it. <laughs> I this don't is all her. It. She ran a poll about this, and I've never seen a poll so successful. No, there was ever. like 1,800 comments on my Snapchat that said, make this into a shirt. Yeah, and I was like, and what? And I'm like, wait, really? And then I asked, and then it was like, even more comments, and I'm like, so then I asked on Instagram and the poll was like 85% yes. So I'm like, okay, but I can't wear my face. Oh, on okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, let me see. Oh my God, I'm wearing this on this episode. <laughs> wow. I am now part of the Britney fan club. So there you go. They're available now. We were not gonna make these. I swear on everything. I've never seen more requests for a t-shirt. So here they are, go get one. Support Britney's Bernie Texas 2023 machine gun, Sally. I don't know even know what you call that. Bro, if I ever imagine we're at one of your events and somebody walks up with this shirt, I'm gonna lose my mind. You slept at Britney Atwood concert? Yeah. Nice. Did you How see was Britney it? Atwood last night? No, Bro, dude, her show was sick. Get any sick. pictures of her feet? Look at her. <laughs> I got all the feet pics, bro. <laughs> I'm just waiting for all this to tank, and then I'm gonna drop them. Okay. Yeah, so stop watching, guys. And then... <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you doing? I wish. No, this yeah. is uh, this is dude. Howie Mandel's studio. You've been doing it for even longer, dude. I should have retired three, four times by now. I just, I don't know. This stuff, I love it. Oh yeah. I love this. Yeah. This, this is, is fun. We're, we're live on all platforms right now. Do it. <laughs> Hopefully we're live, like for real live. We're not. Okay. We're pre-recorded. You sure. can say whatever you want, and then you can tell me don't put it in, or I love that. Or we go viral, you know? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Roman Atwood podcast. I got my wife Brittany. 
My man Cleeter. What's up? Bradley Martin in the house. I'm What's here. up, man? I'm here. I'm here. Thanks for good. being here. It feels good. It feels really good. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you. Just wrapped up. Super fun pod, dude. Amazing. Super Amazing. fun. We're actually going to go shoot his pod. Just check that out. I'll just link it. But it probably won't come out for a while. I don't uh, think our app's going to come out for a little while. I don't know when it's going to come we're out. We're in LA, so we're stacking them. So we're going to be like, pop, pop, pop. Don't know when it's coming out, but Damn. you will. Love it. We um, just wrapped on final pod of the day on the Roman Atwood podcast. Now we're going to head to Bradley's. Try to get as many other podcasts in when I'm out here as well. So I love doing other people's podcasts. It feels way less pressure on other people's podcasts. I don't know why. Makes sense. I don't know. Maybe because they're asking me the questions versus me having to come up with questions for them. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know it's super repetitive, but this is what we're doing. And this is kind of BTS behind the scenes of the podcast. Oh, this is cool, man. Oh my god. So it looks amazing. He's, gotta go. He's just holding it in right now, dude. I love it. Micro <laughs> organisms. <laughs> Don't judge me because I can't drink sparkling water like you fancy folk. Pinky uppers. You know what? Let's end this video. No. Um, sad because no, our guest for the, our guest it's for tomorrow. It's not over yet. This is his vlog now. It's not over yet till this butter jar is empty. Dude, our freaking guest canceled for tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Biggest guest. Which is hard to say because we had Rob Deerdeck on the show today, guys. Rob hey, freaking Deerdeck. Bigger than Rob Deerdeck? Oh, I think, I think as far so. as global name. Yeah, every every single human in this lens right now knows that guest. Some might not know Rob. That's how it is. Wow. It's a tough break. We'll get him. We're gonna get him though. We gotta reschedule it. It's gonna happen. And until then, nobody's gonna know who it is. I'm sad. I'm I sad right now. Dude. Hurt me. I was ready to hurt myself. You were definitely gonna for the pop. I bet it got canceled just because you were gonna hurt yourself. I knew the liability that was coming. We were good until you're like, I'm gonna get hurt. I flew in to hurt myself for you guys. I'm sorry. And here we are, eating our sorrows, drinking our sorrows. <sighs> I'm gonna have to put out an emergency post tomorrow for a podcast guest. Do it right now. Yeah, why wait? Because we're not in that emergency state yet. No, you are. No, I have people that I know I can get on the show of right now, but I'm waiting patiently. You guys ever lay in bed at night and need a Q-tip and you're like, oh, I got something in my ear? Yeah, all the time. I've been doing this thing recently where I put emergency Q-tips in the nightstand next to my bed. Really nice trick. You like, wait. Where do you put them when you're done? Well, yeah, I just, you just have to leave it there. <laughs> you know Cletus has got a up. pile of dirty Q-tips on his <laughs> nightstand. I was just like, you know, I need an emergency Q-tip. I reach over right there. A couple times I've woken up 3, 4 a.m. with that tickle, bro. Oh, and, and you're, you're just don't want to get up. Yeah, so you try, you try and wing it yeah. by, you know, just cramming whatever you can find in there. Just wake up, Maddie's got Q-tips stuck in her hair. <laughs> Guys, we're going to end this video. I love you. You're beautiful. One of a kind. Smile more.